All right, Chief Sexton, remember when I first got here, uh, you were the one person that pulled me in your office and said, hey, Lieutenant, this is how things are, but this is how things really ought to be. I got that from a lot of people, but nobody told me how things really should be, so any problems that we had, we weren't able to fix them. I remember I've got a good friend of mine that's a senior master sergeant, retired senior master sergeant, cop, and uh, first question he asked me when he found out I was coming here is, who's the chief going to be? Or who is the chief? I said, Chief Sexton. He said, Lee Sexton? Lee Sexton is a legend in the security police field. And I didn't realize how much of that until I read the uh, security police book of history. And I was able to read your bio on there, found out you were uh, one of the founding fathers of the original emergency services team, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I know there's uh, been several times in my year and nine months since I've been here that uh, you've either pulled me into your office or caught me in the hallway to give me both that professional and that personal glimpse about uh, situations that were happening, whether they be local, national, or international. And I've appreciated that. In addition, I remember uh, about a year and a half ago when I was working uh, on a night shift and we had a man pass away. And I remember that I was literally holding that man in my hands uh, when he died. And we had to PRP several people, take several weapons. Uh, we had mental health evaluators come over to evaluate other personnel. And uh, we lost some people that night. And I remember throughout the whole night, only one person asked me if I was OK. Well, Chief, uh, I appreciated that, and I remembered that. The way cutbacks are going today, and uh, the way they're taking money away and doing more with less with the Air Force, it's people like you that are and that have enabled the Air Force to maintain the standards that it's had so far. And unfortunately, it's people like you that are also leaving. So with that, Chief, thanks for everything you've done for this career field, and congratulations on your retirement. Enforcer, Tage, huh. present, huh. Suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Two, this landing. Two, go ahead. Roger, we have code two response, men stage, woman in distress. Copy that in route. Every time you spawn, you never know what you're walking into. You have to be alert at all times. Lightning police two. Go ahead, police two. Roger, be advised on scene, Captain. Roger, lightning standing by. so satisfying to know you made a difference. Well, Chief, we just like to say uh, we love you, man. And uh, we got a little something from the Security Forces Administration that reports flight. This is for you to remember us by. Chief, we just printed up your email for two weeks. 
worth of a, we'll be getting you a response back as soon as we can. Yeah, okay. God bless it. Chief, you know what? I don't have a rusty spike, but what about a screwdriver and... <laughs> you know how to use those tools, Chief. Thank you. All right, Chief, on a serious note, uh, we appreciate everything that uh, you did for the security force for the Rear as a whole, and also uh, what you've done here as a squadron. Uh, we hope that uh, the life after the military is, uh, is good for you. Thanks for everything. Chief, we appreciate everything you've done for us here in the Second Security Force Squadron. Best of luck and good wishes for everything you do in your endeavors. We know you'll be a tremendous success, and we'll always be here if you want to come back and say hello. And we got your tools. Uh, Chief, you've been in a long time. Uh, appreciate what you've done for us. I know you've worked hard for us. I'd like personally to thank you for some very entertaining email over the years that I've been here. Uh, some of it I can't believe that you actually sent, but uh, I'm sure all of it was deserved. And. Uh, I wish you well in your life after the Air Force. Uh, that's basically it, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Colonel Gathright, uh, I'm here to videotape uh, Chief Sexton's farewell video. Um, are you ready, sir? Can you give me a second, Sergeant Street? Yes, sir. Miss Kim, could you come in here, please? Yes, sir. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. It's it's locked up again, and the mouse is frozen, and I can't get it to do a thing. Well, sir, it looks like you have a backlog of emails. Has the chief been emailing me again? I thought he'd already started out processing. Maybe he's emailing from home. See, go call Sergeant Antony and see if he can clean this thing up. Sergeant Street, can I get back to you on that? Yes, sir. How does my calendar look? This looks like it'll take about a week. I'll check for you. Email. 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 Definitely. Chief's email. Damn email. Damn email. There you go. You guys now. Yeah. We're the flight that can't get into Disneyland rides. <laughs> Chief, um, on behalf of Bandit Element, we would just like to wish you a fond farewell. Best wishes on your retirement to both you and Leslie. I'd like to thank you for all your support all your guidance, all the experience that you provided and imparted to all of us. We wish you nothing but the best. And why is your hand shaking, Greg? Shaking a little. Uh, about shaking as much as me, as long as they know it's me, not you, not me. Uh, Chief, in all seriousness, we're going to miss you. I don't know who's going to fill your shoes, but it's going to be a, almost an impossible task. Wish you all the best in the future, and we hope to see you come around, say hi to us, keep in touch. And we'll see Leslie and pass on our best wishes if we don't see you. So, on behalf of Bandit, thank you very much for your support and all your years of service for a grateful nation. Pinch, hut, post, hut! <laughs> I can't believe the Chief's retired after all these years. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do without him around here. I wonder who's going to replace him. I don't know. I guess. What was that? I don't know. There shouldn't uh, be anybody up here. Well, let's check it out. Oh. See, you're putting him. What are you doing in Chief's office? Oh, uh, uh, just packing up his stuff, uh, helping him uh, get ready to move and everything. Uh, but good detective work. I'm glad you guys are uh, keeping Barksdale safe. Uh, as you were, you can go ahead and leave. All right, sir. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Yeah, I think this office is going to be just great. Maybe if we knock this wall out a little bit, though. I think so. Good.
Okay, so you know we got the three divas in town tonight. Right? You know something, Rich? Now, folks are coming in and picking up on the about this little farewell thing here. for the chief. Listen up. You go to the a little something for him, I think, you know what I mean? We got some of the best, uh, the bars still, you know. What ain't nobody looking for parking trash. Okay. It's got the offer right up here. We're trying to get a little something to get for him. You know, a nice gift, something like that, you know, send him on his way. Happiness and retirement, that type of thing. Hey, man, what's up here? And up at the EC here, they know this place is like the most vital place on the damn base. You need to find out what's going on. Turn that radio down. Uh, Storm this bulldog one. You got any problems at the end control point? That's a negative at this time. Everything A-OK? -okay? All good. Uh, info, we'll be uh, checking the same out. Got a little problem up here. Vehicle in the trap there, and I don't see nobody. That's a good man, Rich, what's wrong with Jerry, man? Man, a really good donut. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Nah, I bet you saw in Cooper were like, right on your ears. So tell me, Sergeant Cooper, where are the best of the best? Well, I don't know, but we're getting ready to find out. Chief, we love you. We've had a lot of rusty railroad spikes and got over that uh, saying that you like to say is a couple boys in the shower. And I know your uh, combat boots are older than most of our young butts. But one thing's for sure, when you leave out of here, you're going to be missed. I mean, you've been in 28 and a half years and got the knowledge of the career field. You've helped all of us in this room in one way or another and taught us all a lot about the Air Force. I'm glad you're going to be in the area because I'll probably call you. You might not like that, but I might call you. Chief, what's going on? But we do want to wish you a happy and well retirement. Take care of yourself. I know Leslie will take care of you and a couple dogs you got. And don't ever forget about us. We sure won't forget about you. That's good. Hey, Force 3, Lightning. Force 3, go ahead. Be advised, we have alarm activation building 5650, copy. Roger, that's probably the Force of three, Lightning. Force three, go ahead. Be advised, made landline contact with one. Take Sergeant Stewart. If he's stepping out, he's all secure. High copy. Roger, that's affirmative. Police one and Force three, go ahead and move up. Make face to face with Tech Sergeant Stewart. I've got a perfect shot to cover you from this location. I'll be standing by. Copy.
Okay, we've got an analyzation of the situation. We're going to make a few tactical moves, and I'll give you a call back on one of my copy. What's that? Yes, ma'am. Could you go ahead and take a little more off the side here and some off the top? Sure. you've given the 2nd Security Forces Squadron. And for the faith and encouragement that you've given the both of us to pursue what we have so far in our Air Force careers. Mary Beth and I would like to wish you and your family the best of luck throughout your retirement. Chief, we had to see you go, but wish you well in your retirement. Hang on! <laughs> Chief, to commemorate your many years of faithful service, we've received special authorization to rename our newly acquired military working dog, Chief. Chief will remind us that size doesn't matter. It's the heart that counts. If you can't run with the big dogs, just stay on the porch. Chief, sick. Come on, Chief, roll over. Play dead, Chief. Come on, Chief, sick. I don't think this dog's been trained. We gotta clear this guy for entry. Uh, you wanna handle it? Father, you got to be kidding me. You know mass SARS don't do stuff like that no more. You need to handle up there, big SARS. Yes. Oh, look him, Don. We got us a new victim. <laughs> Mr. Schaefer, sir. How you doing, Mr. Schaefer? Uh, sorry, Carter, Supervisor, we're gonna be uh, conducting this. Uh, Metal take search, we'll quite do that one higher uh, for our ship. So, uh, if you're ready to take off your hand and set it on the table, we'll get started. Hold your hands out like so. Come on, Shaver, you just look like a victim. I know you've been through this before. Can you remove your shirt, please? Why? Because it's a requirement. We have to check to ensure that you're not carrying any kind no, of No, see, you're explaining too much. Five, six, That's three. That's the whole thing. Right, remove your shirt. Come on, Schaefer. Jesus, man. You take all day. You got things to do, man. I got lunch calling me. What's wrong with you? All right. You're going to have to remove that uh, T-shirt. What? Your T-shirt, the undergarment. Something is setting the metal detector off. That's crazy. <laughs> I see you smiling. Must not be too crazy. You have a very nice tan. <laughs> We I've never seen this dog before. You're going to have to go a little bit too far. No, you got to move your pants for us to go into the area. No such place is too far. You are... The whole way off. Right, all the way down. Now you see, there's no area... There's no area in here that's not secure enough. At Barksdale, we do it all the way. <laughs> Hi, man. I'm Sergeant Carter. We're doing our uh, hourly inspection of personnel entering and exiting the WSA. Uh, I will need to uh, conduct this transfer to check on you, if you would. Hold your arms out like so, please. Sergeant Carter, uh, don't mind if I jump on in here and take a workload off of it because you, you're looking a little, a little tired. Let me let me help you out there, Big Sarge. Go on over and just relax a little bit. Ma'am, I'm going to take over if you don't mind. We're going to go ahead and press on with this.
What a country. This is too good. Chief, I, I can't believe we're finally at uh, the threshold of your career where you're now moving on into uh, civilian life. You've been an inspiration and a confidant to me personally, and I'm going to miss the good times, the bad times, and all your jokes. I, uh, I want you to know that you've had a profound impact on both me personally and professionally, and I can sure, assure you that I speak for many other senior NCOs in the squadron as well as the wing, that we're going to miss you tremendously. I've always considered you my personal mentor and hope that someday I may aspire to be half the man that you are. I'm really going to miss you. Please stay in contact. See you later, Chief. Chief, this is coming to you from the SFT Tabernacle Choir. Sung and key O. O is for off key. One, two, three, go. Off we go is the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun. Here they come, so it's me, I thunder, and our boys give her the gun. Down we die, spot our flame from under, off we go. Inspiration to us all. We love you and Godspeed. Bless you.